With more and more people in the Valley getting vaccinated, live music is making a comeback. And you can bet those in the music industry are excited. Here's Channel 5's Thumbi Burma. From Tejano music to rock. This song's called Forever Is Gone. Musicians in the Valley are known for adding their own 956 flair. To some, it's more than just sounds, but history weaved into art. It's, it's important, you know, when it's, it's a reflection of the cultural history, of uh, the racial and socioeconomic history. But Garcia says it all started to crumble last spring when the pandemic hit. I had, you know, several events that were booked that were basically sold out that had to be canceled, if not postponed altogether. Canceled events means no more work for musicians, something that Garcia says was one of the hardest things to deal with. Called a lot of local bands and artists and musicians that relied on that extra income, uh, even, even those who didn't got, get paid a whole lot, um, you know, relied on it in some way for some sort of sustenance. Now, live events are opening up at varying capacities, with many of the hosts encouraging people to wear masks. Garcia says he's cautiously optimistic. We are a very overworked community. Um, we are a very impoverished community, and for a lot of people, live music is as much an expression of art and culture as it is a release. Garcia says we'll see more live events coming with the start of summer, and he expects most live events will be back by the fall. Outdoor live summer events would probably be the most realistic time for us to start seeing them happen more. Garcia says he hopes the return of music will also help breathe life back into our community. It's an expression, it's an art form, it's a reflection of the self and society. According to CDC guidelines, event organizers are at their own discretion when it comes to planning. On their website it says, each event organizer will need to determine the appropriate number for their setting in collaboration with local health officials. They should also check state, county, and city rules regarding any current restrictions limiting the number of attendees at events. Dunvi Verma, Channel 5 News.